I said this to Andy, it feels like a f***ing wedding. <laughs> Secondly, I wanted to um, say a massive thank you to uh, Maria, Rob and Jacob as well. Obviously worked very closely with Maria now for over two years, Rob for about a year and Jacob obviously for the last few years recently rejoining. I've obviously massively enjoyed the marketing and growth side and I can't wait to see all of that team flourish um, alongside Zoe and how much you'll be able to add and value to that and take us to the next level. I just, I was so moved by the speech, I'm not gonna lie. I nearly welled up. Okay, so now we can finally tell you guys what we were reacting to in our previous vlog. We've got a very exciting announcement because Jack is gonna be our new managing director. And Zoe, obviously that means a big change for you as yeah. well. So Zoe's gonna become our CEO here at The Social Shepherd. Yeah, it's a little bit strange to retitle yourself, but we're gonna talk about in this vlog kind of what that means, why we've made that decision and what those two roles entail. Um, and also the reactions of the team and see yeah. what they've got to say as well. Yeah, we had a really good reaction on Strap Down. It was just such a lovely day with the team. So yeah, enjoy the vlog. What does a CEO actually do? Sort of like organising all the cogs so that the cogs can start working. That's a creative analogy for you. So like making sure all the bits are in place so then when all the bits start working, they're working right. They decide the direction of the business and try and guarantee the vision of the business is kind of reciprocated from our audience just to kind of make sure that everyone is aware of TSS and the opinion we have is positive and that we make really great work. I think they're really kind of the oversight of the business as a whole. So it's not necessarily being in the weeds of the day to day, but they're working across all of the different components of the business to make sure that we're meeting our business goals, that we are delivering for our clients, that the business itself from an internal perspective is running appropriately and that people are happy and that you know we're growing so also like a lot of biz business development piece as well. Me and Zoe have done I guess our roles almost since the start of the agency anyway, or at least when we first brought on like our first full-time member which was back in early 2020 I think we've been doing the, our roles since then so that's coming up that's four years basically wow. dedicated to those roles and I think it's came, come to a place now where we've got to a certain size the business has different needs he's he's taking my role but i guess i haven't necessarily done the role of a traditional managing director we needed to restructure because i had something stupid like 15 direct reports that's not fair on them not fair on me either and then when we were kind of talking about it and where our focuses really wanted to be it felt like a really good opportunity for jack to kind of step back into the day-to-day -day of it and to kind of take all of that really great knowledge that he's gathered through time as head of growth and I'm, I'm bringing that into it. We've come to a place now where we've got to a certain size, the business has different needs um, to it. And with that, and with the growth of obviously the US, I think we've really seen the need for Zoe to, to step back from some of the day-to-day -day, you know, inner workings bits and really help support both teams, I guess, collectively and really set the vision for the future and then enable me to get closer back to each individual team and really support all the department leads but not just them but i guess everyone that's a part of any team and how, how i can help shape that further in the uk are you hiding in the corner for a reason uh yeah so we can actually get some work done yeah we're just draining all the wi-fi hey, is it you guys you snow up all the wi-fi yeah Second half strap day, Jack made a little, felt like a wedding speech. Uh, it did feel like a wedding speech, like a wedding yes. Speech, yeah. They announced the, the changing of roles. I did actually send them both a little email afterwards and congratulated them on, on the change. Um, I think uh, the, the kind of level-headedness that Jack brings to the table will be really good for that role. I think the way that Zoe is um, really forward-thinking in, in becoming CEO and onboarding new clients will be really good. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a perfect fit. It is got to be a positive one. I'm excited that our leadership has the, the I was going to say balls, to switch it up between themselves and to be that fluid and I guess it gives me more confidence really in the fact that they are able to shift between themselves. I think that 
fresh blood, it, you know, fresh eyes on, on the operational side of things, Zoe moving into the sort of bigger picture, uh, CEO role, I think it's super exciting. I think it's only gonna bring good things. going into the CEO role, what changes do you hope to see? Well, I'm excited for us uh, as the US arm of the business because I know part of that shift is going to be that she's going to be a lot more involved over here, um, which I'm excited about just because it's really helpful to have her around. Um, she's a lot about valuable insight. Chat GBT. What is a CEO? Now we wait. This is the highest ranking executive in the company or organization, responsible for making major corporate decisions, managing overall operations, and ensuring the company's goals and objectives are met. The CEO reports to the board of directors, Andy, or the company's owners and typically oversees other top executives. Depending on the organization's structure, the CEO role involves setting the company's strategy, representing the companies to stakeholders, and ultimately being accountable for its performance and success. I've got a new boss, so it affects me quite a lot. Um, but no, it's it's good. It's exciting. We're um, yeah, we're moving on to the next the next stage of TSS. Um, yeah, Zoe's stepping up into the CEO role, which is mega exciting. Um, and yeah, she's going to be looking after um, marketing and new business. So myself and Maria, content marketing manager, are going to report into her rather than reporting into Jack. And then Jack's obviously going to take a bit more of an operational role. As MD, um, so yeah, it's really exciting. Lots of change, like m more change for them, arguably. So, <laughs> yeah. think of like a pirate ship. You've got all like the the little people like putting on the mast, doing the rowing, like doing all the hard work, and then you've got the captain like telling the geezer who's steering, and then when it like pulls up, all of the like little people scurry, and then the captain's like, "We did it. We conquered." the C, that's what a CEO does. Can you come up with an analogy for a CEO? I think they're like the principal of the school. They aren't in like every classroom, but they're looking over everybody. You get in trouble, that's who you might go to. Um, making sure everything just runs smoothly and everyone's doing their work. So tell me a bit more about what your new role is going to entail. What's the day-to-day yeah. -day sort of running bit looking like? So I guess my role is kind of looking at where we are within the marketplace, how we're growing the business, so how that those hubs roll out. So that's why I'm really heavily involved in the US side of things at the minute. And basically the way that it will look in the future is, you know, you could have we could have a hub in Amsterdam, we could have hubs all over the place. And those managing directors or managing partners would continue to report up into myself, basically. I'll also be looking at our brand marketing, so you, Rob, get to the pleasure of <laughs> reporting into me and you get to enjoy my 25 rounds of approval, Absolutely which I'm it. sure you're delighted I for. It. Um, it's a challenge every month. Um, but I, I get to kind of think about our brand positioning and where we're kind of moving the business forward and how we're going to get there. So a lot of what we did on Strat Day was about what are the challenges that we faced? Where do we feel like we've maybe fall down compared to some of larger network agencies or things like that? And how, what are we going to do over the next 12 months in order to, to get back there? So it's all about kind of like future vision, where we need to be as a business, digging more into the financial side of things because that does get more complicated now that we have different entities. So yeah, it'll be fun. So um, obviously I think Zoe said she's got a lot, she had a lot of line reports and too many at that. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm going to take on all of the, the amount that she had, but I think um, from a day-to-day -day perspective, obviously I'll be line managing and supporting all the team leads from all of our deliverable teams and client services. So we will still remain on finance and ops, but I'll be working with you know our organic, paid, influence and creative teams, as well as our client services team as well. Um, but my thing is, I'm not as good as anyone in their own roles. I'm not the expert at when it comes to paid or client services or organic, for example, but it's my role to really give them the tools and set them up for success. Um, and give them the direction if needed and, and guidance to really take what they do to the next level and give them the ability to then share that with the team and direct their team in the best way possible. So that's obviously one 
big factor to it. And I guess outside of just department leads, it's looking at people overall from you know, team happiness, culture, our policies, our resource, and yeah, giving sort of leadership guidance, I guess, to those teams as well. Yeah, I think it's a really interesting move for the for, you know, the business, I think for those two as well. Um, you know, it allows them to sort of flex their muscle in a different space, which is going to be really exciting. I think obviously both of them have a different skill set. Um, so bringing that into their new roles would be really interesting to see how, how that works. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for it. I think it's going to be really good for the business and breathe a bit of fresh air into us as well. So yeah, it's great. Well, I've been here for nearly two years, so it would be nice to kind of see the difference and how, if there is a different way of working, like different management styles, things like that. So yeah, I think it will be really interesting. And I haven't really seen Zoe in that side of the business either. So seeing like pictures and new business and whatnot, yeah, it would be exciting. This is what I think of this, because that's not it now. It's this is gonna get cut, but this is what I think of the situation. It's that. Yeah, are you sure? <laughs> that feels natural. Uh, we've got Chris doing it as well now. But Chris is doing, yeah, that's not the right one.